Can't you see that the only thing that matters to me is that you still be here when I get back? What? Here? Not here! I mean here! At home in England! With the children! In the cottage by the sea! You get a lot of words. You try to make them work. What do you get? Oh. You take the letter M, then you add a stupid N. What do you get? Um, how can I make it plainer to you? What kind of language do you use? Or do you know what I mean when I say... Uh, um, e for Explorer. Rosebud, check. Oh, Prescott, what? I wish I'd listened to the wife's warnings. Oh. I had the most awful feelings since this voyage began. Ted, I'm putting... The journey down. itself proved uneventful enough, but things started to go badly wrong when the Santa Maria docked in Africa. Africa? We're supposed to be in South America. Nobody's perfect. Finally, we arrived at our destination and began our journey into terror. I was reminded of my fellow patients at Beasley Moncton who were less fortunate. No, 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 say anything about that! Thank heavens for that, I thought we were watching John Craven's news round again. What have you watched the other side? <laughs> you say you called Captain Cook? Did I? Oh, yes, yes. Well, that would be because I'm Captain Cook. Is that right? That's right, sir. Good. This, my captain. You want I put him in pot, then he be Captain Cooked as well. <laughs> Only a joke at the moment. Oh, gosh, Captain. I think they might be cannibals, sir. Yes, I think you might have got a point there, Mr. Midshipman Hardly. Uh, what do you think? Uh, scum, isn't it? Uh, yes, sir. Able seaman scum, sir. No, I don't think they're cannibals, sir. They're usually more round than that, and I've never seen them with arms and legs before. Not cannonballs. Cannibals. It means we eat people. Exactly. It means they eat May I remind you that eating a member of His Majesty's Royal Navy is an offence punishable by severe constipation. We're not called Jolly Jack Tars for nothing, you know. Tell me more of thy journeys, great captain, so that I might learn what dressing to put on the salad. The golden age of exploration was in the 1930s, when hundreds of model ships like these set sail across the film studios of Hollywood. Films like... The Adventures of Marco Polo. Gee, Marco Polo, I may only be the Empress of China, but I still think you're kind of cute. <laughs> then at last, we caught our first sight of the Sandwich Islands. I call them the Sandwich Islands because they're all jammed rather closely together. Then, after the Sandwich Islands, we... <coughs> the Windward Islands. Then, we set sail once again and discovered another group of islands, the Virgin Islands. The Virgin Islands? Why are they called the, the Virgin, Virgin Islands? Islands? Well, I call them that because, you see, they're just rocks sticking up out of the sea, so they're only just virgin on islands. Ah, uh, I've warned you, pot. New Zealand, Australia, Tasmania, you name it, I discovered it. America. What? You said name somewhere I have, America. You didn't discover that. I did. No, you didn't. I did. No, you I did. did. You I did. did. You you did. did not. I did. It's just there were people there already when I got there. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Most well, I think it's about time you were off, so uh, it's been jolly nice discovering you. Um, you'll be getting your certificate in the post. What about the rest of your crew? You're not leaving without them. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Good point, good point, good man. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Midshipman Hardly, can you get Scum and his friend Filth there to round up the rest of the crew? There's a good chap. Um, to tell you the truth, sir, I'm not actually sure where they are. Uh, scum? There's no use looking at us, sir. We've no idea where they've got to. Don't worry, Captain. One of my warriors will fetch them for you. Ah, oh, thank you once again, Chief. You're most kind. Pleasure's all mine, Mr. Cook. They should be ready to go by now. Good. Well, I think back to the ship, a spot of discovery before luncheon, and, uh... 
Jake. Oh, lummy. Oh, this is awful, Captain. Worse than that, sir. You don't mean... I'm afraid so, sir. The blighters have given us rice instead of chips, sir. We set forth at three on the morning of the fifth. I mean, at first of the fourth on the... Oh, <clears throat> in the morning. Well, at fourth in the three. Oh. <clears throat> we set out early one morning on the first leg of our expedition. We marched for six days along a little-known trail before going back for the map. Then, straight back along the trail again, stopping only to water the horses. It's no good, old chap. No matter how much I water them, they never seem to get any bigger. Well, let's just check our positions then, eh, Prescott? Oh, very well. Uh, you're upright with a slight tilt to the left. Maybe if you put your bag on the other side. For the first time on television, we proudly present Raiders of the Lost Art. One year after their adventures in the desert, we find Indiana and his wife Marion at home in their kitchen. Anything interesting in today's mail, Marion? No, just the usual. A couple of ladder bombs and a box of deadly snakes. Oh, and an income taxi man. Oh, no, what a thing to send through the post. Oh, it's a lovely day, honey. Ah! Anything interesting in the papers today? No, a war in Europe. Oh, and an earthquake in Hollywood. Nothing exciting, honey. Mm. <coughs> Wanna hear your horoscope, honey? Hey, yeah, why not? Oh, boy, you'd better watch it today. Oh, no, I'm not going to have an accident, am I? No, silly. Oh. Just you have to make an important decision. Oh, that's all it is these days. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Why doesn't something exciting happen for a change? That's what I want. Oh, I'm going to get dressed for work. Hey, Miriam. Oh, what is it now, Indy? I've got another leather jacket. This one just isn't scuffed enough. Yeah, just the one in the same drawer as your Star Wars pajamas, honey. Oh, rinky-dink. Thanks, darling. Hey, look, have a nice day while I'm at the university. I wouldn't want things to get so boring for you. Oh, don't worry about me, Indiana Jones. I'm sure something will turn up to keep me busy. That's the way it on my mind, Marion. And so we carried on, relying for food only on what we ourselves could catch. Leaves, birds' nests, the occasional cold. Until one day, disaster struck again. And I tell you, gentlemen, we are within hours of proving that the world is absolutely round. I implore you, Sr. Columbus, turn this ship around. Well, and sail backwards, Mr. Christian? Never. Only turn to Spain before it's too late. Listen, I'm admitting, Christopher, the world's flat. Any further, and we could fall over the edge. But I have sworn to your sovereign queen, Isabella, but I shall not rest until I have found the route that links Europe to the Indies. So sure am I that the world is round, that I'm prepared to stake your lives on it. Oh, and you ask oh. me to betray the Queen's trust. Turn back, you turn back before it's too late. Oh, there, Captain. Lady, Off the starboard bow. Out of the way, sea slime. There, what did I tell you, hey? Flat, hey? Uh. Oh, dear. This is the Moncton Beasley home for failed explorers. A nursing home with a difference. For Moncton Beasley caters exclusively for the treatment of a little known but oft neglected minority. The broken wrecks of human flotsam who stand in the shadows of the successful. These unfortunate explorers, their sanity destroyed by their inability to find their way to the shops, let alone discover a new country have discovered something at last. Peace, quiet, and maybe even a little happiness here in this pleasant woodland manor house. Donated by its previous owner, the little known but often lost Viscount Lord Boeing 707, himself a tragic victim of failed exploration, the house assumed its present status in 1962 when, after repeated attempts to find his way to the front door, 
his lordship finally admitted defeat and moved into a potting shed in his garden. Where where oh, what's the first dinner, boys? I discovered Denmark, nurse. Yes, of course you did, Dickie. Now all settle down. Have you all got your magnets and forks with you? Yes. Because I got a special treat for you today. It's your favorite. Oh. I have a ration. Yeah, Eat Rosie, a have battery head. Oh, okay, fruitcakes. Who wants oil? Oh. oh.